Fox. Shot before his tragic last month, Jordan joins the show one last time, where he witnesses the two most massive stars on the planet unmasked they share the same name. It was an exuberant and heartbreaking night, as we hosted the real Hall of Fame superstars on The Masked Singer, and bid farewell to guest panelist Leslie Jordan. Filmed before her tragic last month, The Call Me Cat, star made her final visit to TV's weirdest show, which features touching tributes to her comedic effect, and her heart bigger than life. Since Ken Jong was unavailable, he was joined by guest panelist Joel McHale. Poor Ken also missed a daze as the theme was TMS, which was given with Pride Night and some of the biggest stars on the planet. With this new format of just one mask advancing each week, we had the opportunity to see the hidden identities of two of these legends. Interestingly, they share the same first name, but almost nothing about them or their careers is the same. Still, let's just say that it's absolutely appropriate for both of them to be called G.O.A.T.S in their respective fields. We wondered if this one-off format would bring out bigger stars, and this season has been successful so far. But this week the stars were huge. Let's start with this week's masks. Don't worry, before moving on to the shocking mask opening, we'll empower you in the terrible predictions made by our celebrity panel of Robin Thicke, Jenny McCarthy, Joel McHale, Leslie Jordan, and Nicole. First, Scherzinger. We do this because we like to torture you. We'll be sharing some internet speculation as well as the panel's predictions, so if you don't want to be potentially spoiled, you might want to skip the prediction sections. Shim. Nicole Scherzinger is enjoying the opportunity to showcase her own pipes with various openings this season, as she reveals everything for this opening sequence, even falling into the arms of some dancers and singing. They showed him around. The rest of the star, including Robin Thicke, fell, no one remembers that he also sang. Bride. There is a lot of courage in the voice of the bride, but she does not grasp the melody very well. The scene presence offers no more. It was an interesting performance, but one that we wouldn't classify as particularly strong in any way. He seems to have a very playful personality, though. Predictions, after this performance, we think the pack of clues implies more of a comedian than a musician because the lack of timing and rhythm leads us to think that this is a musician who doesn't sing. The clue pack talked about selling arenas, but it also suggested clutter. He talked about having a tough personality and getting into a lot of mixed blood feuds, but he also suggested that he was known for telling feel-good stories. Has her personality changed, or is she different from her private life when she was open? Were the visual cues included a rose, a sphere with a crown on it, what looked like a wooden wreath, and a wrestling-style belt buckle with musical notes on it? He also spoke with a British accent, but sometimes he could easily get stuck because it was quite dramatic. The stone is broken, the statement read. The clue in the scene came, directly from his field, suggesting another clue to his identity, a real goat named Hawkeye. The medal calls him an action hero, suggesting that there may be ties to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Nicole thought that her rock and roll pin, and the badge with the snake might make you think this was David Coverdale of Whitesnake, but is it certain that she could still sing better than whatever it was? Still, Robin wondered if it was Carrot Top that caused Jenny to tell him that he didn't have to offer Ken predictions in his absence. Some on Twitter felt pretty confident that they knew who the bride was with a few guesses for Rodman, but most people leaned toward his former WWE superstar and current AEW wrestler Chris Jericho. Hashtag Themaskedsarkasai. My guess for the dragon bride is pic.twitter.com slash 1trzor 1mz6 Billy Idol or Jason Statham, Tamika Shipman November 10, 2022 Tammy Shipman. Hashtag Themas Kedzinger Bride, Chris Jericho. I'm 100% sure I know this person's voice and all the tips attached to it, Midnight Thunder November 10, 2022 Goddess Ray 2. I've never heard of anyone who looks more like Chris Jericho than the bride in The Masked Singer, including Chris Jericho. Hashtag Themis Kedzinger, Total Hell, Disciple of History November 10, 2022 Total Hell. Gopher. By offering limited mobility and vocal range, Gopher suggested that he was an older celebrity who had long outlived his nobility. He was definitely able to hold a melody and have some fun there, but this was not a dynamo performance by any force of imagination. 
it sounded and was coming a little sleepy. Predictions, with a hint that he was an expert in British politics, Gopher said the spaceship was all in the biggest hall of fame, the Smithsonian. He used his spaceship to refer to being an intergalactic space cowboy, with an imagination outside of this world. The latter, he said, helped start a movement by burning new roads on many old town roads. He described himself as a party-shaking doctor and said that even dogs want to be part of his legacy. On top of that, he mentioned Caesar Milan while showing a corgi in a constellation. Another visual cue was a small gramophone, very similar to a Grammy. He wasn't singing very well now, but that doesn't mean he can't go back to his old days. Or maybe he was a legendary instrumentalist around the world. Hell, maybe it still is. Confirming our theory that he was an older gentleman, Gopher was given a stool to sit down while a woman named Crystal took out her medal simply by reciting, LOL. I think I'm known as a funny person, Gopher said. You danced to some of my jokes. The audience didn't feel Jenny's terrible guess from Martin Lawrence, while Leslie Jordan started throwing names for fun, Flava Flav, Lil Nas X. Then Joel landed on legendary comedian George Wallace, deciding he knew exactly who it was. Meanwhile, Robin wondered if Sly Stone rarely showed up, or if maybe it was George Clinton. That last prediction even made Nick invest, even though he joked that he didn't smell cowardly enough. Does the mask hold it? The internet was digging up the idea that it could be Clinton or Wallace, but at the same time, names like Ron White and Louis Black were circulating. Why do I feel like Gopher looks like Ron White? Hashtag Themis Kedzinger, Abby Gemgirl 5 November 10, 2022. Gopher is George Clinton. The mothership is on display in mock. An expert in British politics because he is a member of parliament. Funkadelic. Hashtag Themis Kedzinger, Nick O.